And yes, I'm sure to everyone's surprise, no, he didn't actually live here. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just want to give a quick thank you to all of our Patreon members that help keep the channel growing. More on that later. Built with mob money back in 1966, Caesar's Palace is the flagship of Caesar's entertainment properties. Located scenically at Center Strip, it's the sixth oldest hotel in Las Vegas. But can the property stand the test of time today? Let's go find out for Lunar New Year. Alright, it's been some sharks. Here we are. We're officially at Caesar's Palace, starting with the center gold statue of Caesar himself. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and get a little walkabout going. We're gonna go ahead and start off by heading towards hotel registration. So hotel registration is just gonna be to the immediate left where the valet is, and then this is where you're gonna be doing your check-in. Right now it is Lunar New Year, so you're gonna enjoy a few of the Lunar New Year decorations mixed in with the traditional Greco-Roman architecture. And when I say traditional Greco-Roman architecture, I mean the stuff that's uh, kind of been made from Hollywood. Yeah, Emperor's Essential Shops on the left. And then the Cafe Americano on the other left over here. As well as our siren fountains. And then here is the registration area where you can check into one of over 3,900 rooms and suites. Self checkout and check in options are to the right, and traditional check in options are to the left. Looks like it's going to get pretty busy this weekend. Coming through this direction over here, we're also going to find the seven star and diamond registration. So that's for the uh, high level members. It's actually going to be going down this hall through the Laurel Collection, where they've got some rather spicy artwork that I'm not allowed to show on screen. Including a few lovely Picassos. And then, of course, one of the many. Starbucks here on the Vegas Strip. There we go, there's some more appropriate artwork. We're also going to notice an immediate left from the Octavius Towers are the wedding chapels and the Laurel Lounge. So the wedding chapels, spa and salon area is immediately up the stairs. And then the special event registration is here, so you can get your wedding started. Take another right to the rest of the Laurel Lounge over here. Or Laurel Lounge, I should say. Never pronounced that right. You know, it's like a it's like a crown, it's like that leaf crown thing. I'm gonna have to research that and probably re-record this part. And then this will take us back, but let's go ahead and go back to registration and check out some more of the hotel. All right, guys, and coming back from the actual registration area, we're gonna be wandering into the casino. So Caesar's Casino space is substantial. It's the better part of 120,000 square feet. When I say the better part, I mean a lot more than that. So roughly about 124,000 square feet is what we're looking at. Which isn't too bad. It's also going to feature a lot of extra gaming space, and the hotel itself features 300,000 square feet at Convention Center.
Also heading back, gonna see the casino center bar here. And then this is gonna be right next to uh, Giada's Pronto, which is pretty cool. Giada is also a popular restaurateur that has a restaurant in the Cromwell. And slightly off to our left, we're also going to have one of the favorite lounges here, Mr. Chow. And then a great Chinese New Year display. Good stuff. But yes, back to the uh, Yada Wine Bar here. Pronto. All right. And then a short wander around over here, we're also going to notice the conference center and ballrooms upstairs. So it's 300 square feet, uh, 300 square feet, 300,000 square feet, excuse me, of conference center space. Also right next to the essential store over here, which is surprisingly closed. This place is a little bit of a labyrinth. If you're heading back to the palace tower, you can go back this way and you can also access the pool from here. but. Not too terribly interested in that. Let's go back towards the casino and see if we can get to the Coliseum. Oh, here's the thing I actually didn't know about. There's a FedEx office inside the uh, Caesars, so that's kind of interesting. All right, Spinners and Sharks, and coming back, we actually do have a lovely, anatomically accurate statue of David over here. There are a couple different options that you can go from here. So you can go towards the forum, if we go around the corner this way, or you can turn back around and get back to your Augustus and Octavius Towers, if that's what interests you. I'd love to get some more pictures of the statues. I just love the artwork here. I know it's very Hollywood-esque. And it's definitely not real, but you know, it's just kind of neat. Ladies and gentlemen's rooms on the left. So yes, as you guys can see, that takes us right back into the casino, including a few of the high limit areas. All right, and we actually ended up at another historic bar and uh, lounge over here, Cleopatra's Barge. Actually, it does <laughs> have a nice little statue of Cleopatra here. It was well known among the Macedonians and the Romans. So that's one to consider there if you're looking for a cool spot. Unfortunately, it seems to be closed and it leads straight into the Nobu Hotel, as well as the Forum Casino. So the Nobu Hotel is the hotel within a hotel. Gosh, this place is just so big. All right, and coming up on the Coliseum here, we're going to be bypassing one of our old favorites, Bobby Flay's. Unfortunately, the Bobby Flay's restaurant is closed. We did do one last video there before it closed down permanently last fall. 
And also slightly off to our left, we have the Vista Cocktail Lounge, one of the center ones in the Forum area of the casino. It is also currently closed. I think that one's more of a nighttime sort of thing. So off to the left, we're going to go ahead and see a couple more great restaurants, and we're also going to see the Caesars Rewards Desk and get your diamond rewards as well. And then here's going to be another favorite of mine, Gordon Ramsay's Bar and Grill. Actually, it's Gordon Ramsay's Pub and Grill over here. It's actually pretty similar to Gordon Ramsay's Steak as far as the offerings on the menu. So if you're looking for a more, let's say, economical version of Gordon Ramsay's Steak, it might be an option for you. And then we come up to the Forum Food Court here, which includes yet another Starbucks. And then a few other places too. A personal favorite of mine is Tiger Ramen. That's one that I like to eat. But I'm kind of a big ramen guy. But is also another major landmark here, and these spots are huge. Lots of glorious artwork here, so if you're interested in the forum shops, it's going to be a nice alternative to the Miracle Mile. This is a little closer to the Crystal Shops over at Aria, if you're looking for a rough analog. All right, turning around from the forum shops, we're heading back to Caesar's Palace in the casino. You can see another sign up there. I swear, for a place that's this old, it really stays up. It's had seven renovations over the years since it opened back in the 60s when they initially named it Caesar's Palace, and it's never been taken over. At least it's never had the name change, and it's been a flagship property ever since. All right, here we are at Caesars Coliseum. This is where you're going to get most of your shows and entertainment while you're here at Caesars or if you have shows at Caesars to attend. Wow, yes, yeah, just there's so much casino and gaming space here, and just so many machines. You can find pretty much anything in this place. It's no wonder that it's still Caesar's flagship property after, well, over 60 years at this point. All right, and we are coming back across, going back to the sports bar. And then coming back from that, we're also going to see Omnia Nightclub here. That is one of the largest and most popular nightclubs in all of Las Vegas. There he is, that's our boyfriend. Oh, oh, shoot. We got a nice statue of Joe Lewis over here, too. Not entirely sure what he has to do with uh, Greco Roman architecture, but I like it. We're getting a picture. All right, guys, and we're coming back up Coliseum Way over here. Just gonna bypass the bubble craps. And then if you go back this way, it's just gonna take you back to the hotel registration, Julius Tower. And all the basics past the Alto Bar. And then um, you take Coliseum way back outside, and then it just kind of takes you out of the casino. 
All right, Spiders and Sharks, and that is Caesar's Palace for you. Now, that was really only a portion of the property and just a portion of the history and the highlights around the place. But, you know, the place is so large, eclectic, uh, maze-like, and difficult to navigate. And I think they've done that on purpose just to keep people gambling there. And it seems to have worked since they've been uh, going on about it since the 60s. Uh, and I'll tell you what, the, the, the two and a half years that it took to build this place was clearly apparently worth it. But one of the oldest hotels on the Strip, and the age still isn't catching up with it, unlike a couple other properties I could mention but won't. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. All right, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's hotel tour and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. Before I go, I just wanted to take a moment to shout out our patrons. Guys, it means the world to me that you're choosing to support me in this way and help keep Ace of Vegas independent of the YouTube algorithm. My content isn't always censor and advertiser friendly, so it goes a long way in keeping the channel running. If you'd like a more direct hand in keeping Ace of Vegas growing, check out the Patreon link in the description box down below. In the meantime though, what do you think of Caesar's Palace? Are you happy that it's always adapting to the times? Or would you prefer that they shut it down and build something new? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva